Hi everyone, it's the beginning of December and I think we'll all agree that December is a unique month out of the year. There's a lot going on this time of year that doesn't happen the rest of the year. And uh, so I want to talk a little bit about that and um, I want to explain to you why that for many people, this is the time of year when they seem to get more sick. Or my office has already started seeing a lot of people that have this unexplained flare-ups of back pain or neck pain or headaches um, and for no apparent reason. Um, this is the time of the year when the media is going to tell you that, uh, oh, there's all these new viruses and bugs in the air and that you need to get your flu shot and that's the solution. Uh, we're going to be talking about these things. I'm going to be giving you some solutions, but, uh, but for starters, I want to just start with um, the truth about how our body works and why it gets sick. And you're going to be told that there's a lot of stuff out there that's, that's attacking you and you need to do everything you can to avoid it. But the reality is um, that the stronger your body is able to adapt to its environment, the less likely you're going to get sick, the less likely you're going to have your back go out and all these other things. So we're going to be talking about that, but, but it's important to adhere to that philosophy. It's all about what's in here, not about what's out there. So what's going on this time of year that doesn't happen the rest of the year? First of all, stress. Yeah, you have stress the rest of the year, but this year brings a whole unique type of stress. Sometimes it's happy stress, you know, uh, you're excited, you got a lot going on, but you also have a lot to do. Um, it can also be kind of sad stress. We all have um, loved ones that are no longer with us, and this is kind of a hard time this time of year. This is also time of year for financial stress, for obvious reasons. Um, another thing is we don't get enough sleep this time of year. We're staying up a little later. We're getting up a little earlier. We're letting our bodies get run down. The third thing, lots of sugar. So much sugar cookies and brownies and fudge and, and everything else. So we're eating a lot more refined sugar than we normally do this time of year. And the stress, the sleep, the sugar um, really do depress our immune system. Um, our immune, uh, our body cr creates hormones, special hormones when we're under stress to help us deal with the stress, but those hormones depress our immune system so we're not a as able to fight off illness and that type of thing. Another thing that's a big factor is dehydration. Especially in Southern California, right now this time of year, it has a tendency to be cold, but it also has a tendency to be very dry. So, we don't think about drinking a lot, uh, our usual amount of water and juice. We start turning to the coffee drinks and the, the hot caffeinated teas and the alcohol and that type of thing. These things taste good. They're part of the holiday season, but they also contribute to dehydration. So um, that's an important factor. And dehydration has, the, has a lot of uh, effects on the body. One of those things is here while we're trying to deal with all this mental and emotional stress, do you know that dehydration actually causes our brain to function slower and not work as well? And so a lot of the depression that we feel or tiredness and, and, and unable to think clearly has to do with the fact that we're just not getting enough water. So dehydration is a big factor. Dehydration also causes our muscles to cramp. Guess what? Your spine is full of muscles. And when those muscles get tight, they can pull the spine out of place. What else? Well, our physical activity is different. And even those of us that exercise regularly, we're going to be using muscles and parts of our body that we normally don't use that much the rest of the year. Um, we're going to be spending logging hours and miles in malls. And some of us, and I'm probably referring more to you ladies, uh, are going to be logging these miles, not in your favorite running shoes, but in your favorite dress shoes, you know, on hard surfaces and standing in long lines. Um, or we're going to be doing a lot of traveling, planes, trains, and automobiles, lots and lots of sitting and toting luggage and that kind of thing. At home, we're going to be frantically cleaning the house, getting ready for guests, climbing up on ladders, putting up lights, hanging, you know, Christmas things and, and, and that type of thing. 
as well. Um, and so we're going to be using a lot of different muscles that we're not used to using. And again, this can contribute to uh, back problems, neck problems, and, and all kinds of other uh, problems that, that, again, are kind of unique to this time of year. And then finally, the last thing is, during the rest of the year, some of you are really good about uh, keeping up with your lifestyle care. You get regular chiropractic adjustments, you get regular massage, um, you know, and, and you do these things to take care of yourself. But in December, you get busy, and that's when you cancel your appointments and say, you know, I'll pick it up in January or, or that type of thing. I just don't have time to, to go to the doctors this month, that kind of thing. So we kind of neglect ourselves. So those are some factors that actually create a lot of the problems that we, we have. So what is it that we can do about this? Well, one of the things, let's start with stress. When you're having a lot of mental and emotional stress, your body goes through a lot more vitamins than it normally does, especially things like vitamin B, like your B complexes, that kind of thing. Our brain really needs vitamin B in order to function optimally. But we use a lot of it because we're doing a lot of thinking and we're doing a lot of stressing. So make sure that you take plenty of vitamins and I would increase uh, my B complex this time of year. In fact, I do increase my B complex this time of year. The second thing is try to get plenty of sleep. Um, try to go to bed at the normal time, get up at the normal time. You'll have more energy and you'll be more productive. I know that's not always going to be possible. So if you do have to put in a late night, try to book out a little time for yourself the next day to get in a nap and uh, catch up a little bit or uh, find these catch-up times when you can when you can get your sleep caught up. Uh, the other thing, when it comes to the sugar, I don't know what to do about that. I'm going to eat fudge. I'm going to eat cookies. I'm going to eat brownies and these kind of things. And that's just the way that goes. But uh, try to uh, you know try to keep it in moderation if at all possible. Dehydration is simple. Just make sure you drink the right amount of water and juice, like you do the rest of the year. Yeah, you got the coffee drinks and the tea and the alcohol, I understand that, but just make sure you're also getting plenty of water and plenty of juice. And finally, remember, a healthy spine is a key to a healthy nervous system, and your nervous system controls everything. It controls your brain function, your heart function, your lung function, your st digestion, everything, your immune system. And uh, so keep up with your regular chiropractic adjustments. Don't neglect those. And I can just about guarantee you, you do all the things we've talked about today and you're going to be among the healthiest people that you know during this holiday season. Because it's so important, not just for you, but for the people that care about you and for those that you care about and care for. So have a blessed holiday season and we'll see you soon.